So it's not too bad. A little more washboardy on this one. This is the third resaw I did. And I don't really know what changed, but not quite as clean as the first two. I noticed that I wanted to pull off the fence a little bit on that one. I thought I had it set for drift, but I don't know. Maybe I need to set it again. But definitely the cleanest resaws I've ever had. And even if this was the best I could do, I'm totally fine with that. You know, one pass to the drum sander and it's good. That's curly maple. I don't know if you can distinguish between the washboard effect and the figure on that and on this shitty camera. But not too bad. Good enough. I do have a couple complaints about this saw though. The first one being the first and the biggest that I cannot change blades without taking these fucking doors off. Because uh yeah, that's that's what it looks like. I got here's my fucking slot there, and the door is totally in the way. Uh, and taking the doors off, I, it doesn't just pop out of a hinge. I gotta unscrew these hinges, unscrew them. So that's bullshit. And it's top and bottom, same exact way. <clears throat> I did get this blade on without taking the doors off, but there's no way I'll get it off. So that is bullshit. I mean. I, if I had, if the fucker was out in the middle of the room, I could open the door up more, even when I close my tool cabinet. That's as far as it opens. That's what it's like if you have it against a wall. Who doesn't have their bandsaw up against the wall? Who's got their bandsaw out in the middle of a room? I don't know, not me. So that pisses me off. The other thing is the table's not flat. And there's a four thousandth dip in the middle right at the blade. I know people say oh, it's a bandsaw, it doesn't matter, but I don't know. I think it's bullshit. Bullshit number two for a $3,000 saw that you can't get a fucking flat table. And then I had to shim with blue tape the fence here because it wasn't sitting square to the table. And I can't believe this is my third bandsaw. <clears throat> and I don't know if there are any saws out there that have an adjustment for squareness to the table on the fence, but none of my saws ever have. And I think that's, I don't get, I don't understand why. You know, how hard would it be to design a fence that you can set square to the table? A little, you know, set screw kind of deal or something? I don't know. But anyway, I, you know, blue tape on a $3,000 saw, blue tape. Same thing with my drill press and I don't know. Seems like every tool I have, I got a shim somewhere. Uh, I thought that's what machining was for, so sorry to be all whiny about it. Uh, dust collection, mediocre as expected, about the same as the Grizzly and the Laguna, but uh, it cuts way better. So I'm just going to start using it now and hopefully I can just do woodworking instead of uh, fucking with machines. This camera, there we go. So anyway, I'm happy enough. I expected more, to be honest, but maybe I'll get it dialed in better. But pretty good so far. Adios.